What's up everybody? It's Margo and I'm back with another video. Today we are going to be doing the ice cream book tag. And yes, I know it's been a very, very, very long time since I have uploaded, I think like five weeks something-ish. I've been dealing with a lot of schoolwork and, you know, just high school things, which stress, but it's cool because now it's Thanksgiving break. And you want to know what that means? It means it's beanie and sweater weather. Why did I do that? <laughs> Basically how this tag works is for every ice cream flavor, there is a question and I answer that question. Question number one, peanut butter. A very long book series that you want to read but probably won't. I would probably say Lord of the Rings by J.R. Martin, by George R. Martin, the author's name, you know what I mean. Question number two, chocolate. A book series that you would read again and again and again and again over and over. For me, this is very easy. My favorite series to reread is definitely the Snow Like Ashes trilogy. It is my favorite book series ever because you can see Sarah Roche, you can see her writings progress through each book. You see it blossom. It has dramatic improvements through each installment over and over again and it doesn't suffer from second book syndrome. It's a great series and I would definitely recommend it for anyone who's getting into young adult literature. Question number three. Pistachio. A book with a green cover. Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. I'm tilting that the wrong way. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a good book. Recommend it for anyone who loves a good romance. Question number four. Strawberry. A book with the cutest romance. Now, there are quite a few contemporaries here that I could put in place of this. Favorite romance and couple relationship though? Hardcore. I'm probably going to have to say Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. And I know that's a very predictable book to use, but people keep using this book for a reason. Okay? It's got a great, great story, and if you have not read it, I highly suggest you read it, because it will give you all the feels. I swear, Rainbow Rowell, there's a scene where the characters are holding hands, and she makes it sound like the most romantic thing imaginable. Question number five, Lemon, a book with a sour ending. Oh god, which one? I'm just gonna start with All the Bright Places by Jennifer Niven, because that's a good place to start. I loved, loved, loved that book. I ended up reading the ending on the bus, and it didn't end well. Not, not, not at all. Question number six, Mint, a children's book that you like. For this one, there is no contest, I have to say the Ramona Quimby series. You remember these books? Beezus and Ramona? The little, the little wicked sister? Her right there? This is probably one of the series that got me into reading, along with Cam Jansen, Geronimo Stilton. You remember Geronimo Stilton? Oh my god, it was great. Then of course there had to be Junie B. Jones and Diary of a Wimpy Kid and Dork Diaries. Question number seven. Vanilla. Your favorite classic. Now, I don't really read classics all that much, to be honest. I can say there is one classic that I really enjoyed and I really, really, really want to own a copy of, and that has to be Fahrenheit 451. I highly recommend it. It is such a good dystopia, and it brings in all of these topics, and it brings up a lot of things about philosophy and freedom and you know, the why we should read and why we should preserve books and it's it's a book about books, okay? It's 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 amazing. Question number eight. Whipped cream, a long book that you read really fast. Now, the longest book I own, I believe, would have to be Winter by Marissa Meyer. And that book is about is is over eight hundred pages. And I read that within a span of 13 days. Well, that was the ice cream book tag. Thank you for being around to watch it. I suppose I should go to my actual outro now. 
Thank you guys for watching and make sure you leave a like on this video and comment down below if you have any thoughts to add. Without further ado, let's turn the page on this video and I will see you all in the next chapter. Ciao!